Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. On this video, I will share you the sample questions about knowledge of the safety equipment that commonly asked by the RAMCO during evaluation. During the evaluation, the examiner normally will ask you some theory question and ask you to demonstrate how to use some safety equipment. The safety equipment that will be subject of evaluation will be around the AED, automate, external defibrillator, self-containing breathing apparatus, S2S monitoring devices, firefighting equipment, first aid equipment, and other safety equipment. Well, let's go to the sample of question. How many portable fire extinguisher, SCPA, life jacket, etc. that you have on board? Well, oftentimes the examiner will ask you the number and the location of portable fire extinguisher, SCPA, life jacket, etc. They will expect you to answer this question without you see the safety or fire plan or, or vessel inventory. So it's important during family session on board, you are already remember of the safety equipment details. Okay. What is SART and how it works and appear on radar? SART is search and rescue radar transponder. It works and appear on XPN radar, is the 9 GHz radar. It appear as 12 dot on the radar screen and the closest dot to the radar screen center is the position of the SART or survival craft. Uh, once the vessel coming close, the 12 dots will appear as arc on the radar screen. And then what is EPERP? The EPERP is emergency position indicating radio beacon. It works on 406 MHz frequency. It is a device which works to transmit a vessel code and position via satellite COSPA system to a land station which will direct and guide other vessels or helicopters to rescue operation. Okay, next. What is Automated External Defibrillator or AED? What is this thing? The Automated External Defibrillator or AED is used to help people who, who experiencing sudden cardiac arrest. And this device can analyze their heart rhythm and if necessary, will deliver the electric shock or defibrillation to help the heart re-establish an effective rhythm. This medical device is easy to use. If you guys not familiar or never have this device on board, I advise you to find out the tutorial about this device on YouTube. Okay, next it's about the practical use of uh, SCBA. Um, during evaluation, normally the examiner will ask you to demonstrate how to wear the SCBA properly and quickly. It is very important. Just remember the steps to wear the SCPA. The first, press the demand valve on the mask to avoid the air release when you are opening the valve. Some of the SCPA have demand valve that would activate automatically once you start breathing. So please be familiar with your SCPA on board before evaluation. After that, open the cylinder valve to release air pressure and whistle alarm will come in automatically. Check the pressure in the bottle, make sure it's not empty. After that, uh, start to wear the SCBA by hold the back plate with your both hands and lift the SCBA over your head. After the cylinder in position on your back, pull the strap to tighten. And then wear the face mask and pull the strap to tighten and breathe normally. Okay, next, how to calculate SCBA time duration. For example, your SCBA volume cylinder is 6 liter and the pressure is 300 bar. So, what is the time duration of your SCBA? Well, the formula of time duration is uh, volume of cylinder times by the pressure of the cylinder divided by 40. Your cylinder volume is 6, your uh, pressure is 306 times 300 divided by 40 and you get 
45 minute duration of your SCBA. Okay, next is about the fixed CO2 system. Sometimes the examiner will ask you about the fixed CO2 system that you have on board. So you need to know the place where the CO2 is activated and how to actually operate it. You also need to know action to be taken before releasing the CO2. It is to check that all personnel are out of the engine room, stop all fans, close all air intakes, activate all emergency fuel shut off, etc. And time duration of fixed CO2 system. The after open the pilot bottles, the time delay is 20 to 30 seconds before it open the main cylinder unit. On machinery spaces, 50% of CO2 will be discharged in one minute and 85% of the gas discharged within two minutes. Okay, next is about the fixed gas detection. How many and where is the location of fixed gas detection system on board? The fixed gas detection system capable of detecting hydrogen sulfide and explosive hydrocarbon gases. A minimum of five sensors shall be provided around the vessel. It is at top bridge aft, forward port side and starboard side, and aft port side and the starboard side. And next sample question, how and when you should calibrate your portable gas detector? Commonly, the manufacturer recommend to be calibrated every six months by authorized service facility. But for uh, more detail about your portable gas detector on board, please check technical detail of your portable gas detector on board because it can be different for each brand and model. Well, uh, that's all. Sample of question about knowledge of safety equipment. Thank you for watching and see you on next video.